Probably the last skilling level for an extremely long time. It's pretty much just 91 to 99 Slayer for the next, like, probably two months or something. So there's 90 farming, 2150 total as well. That's an awesome uh, total level milestone to end it off with as well. That's probably going to be my total level for quite a while. So I have a few items that I want to prioritize during Slayer. Uh, four of them to be exact. I want Primordials, Dragon Warhammer, Hosta, and an Occult Necklace. So those are the items that I'm, that I'm going to be kind of focusing on for the first... Uh, couple weeks. But yeah, I've been skilling for seven months. I started at like 1950 total seven months ago after I stopped uh, after I stopped going for the Dragon Warhammer and now we're at 2150 so I'm really excited. Let's go finish off this Cerberus task. Hopefully we can just knock out Prims like straight away. That would be sick. Elite Clue on 238. We're probably not going to complete it because we rarely do but why not. It's been a while since I've completed an Elite. Let's see what we get. Uh, huh. Well, I don't really plan on doing any Guardians, but I did just get a Brittle Key, so I might as well unlock it. Uh, Guardians can be used similarly to how Zolra is used on an Ultimate Iron Man, but it's just less convenient because you have to pay 50k for your stuff back, and it's task only, so it's uh, pretty useless, but I'll unlock it. I pretty much only want one of two items from Hard Clues now. Sarah had Chaps or Boots. Can we do that? Oh... Well, we hit the boots table. 1.2 mil, I will take it. All right, that's it. Road to Champion's Cape. Let's go. From what I heard, they're planning on buffing the XP from these, so it's kind of cool that they're getting some love. Oh my god, that is actually, like, the best thing I could have gotten. That is a lot of bones and an elite, which I have the, uh, the stash unit for that one, so we can do it. Also, I reset my streak. I know a lot of people are, like, attached to their Slayer streak. I had 100 tasks done, so this will have zero downsides functionally. Uh, and I got a Chaos Fanatic task that I couldn't skip, so I'm just... Now I'm just trying to get points now for uh, through boosting for the Lizardman tasks and also the Jad tasks because A, Jad tasks are good XP and Dragon Warhammer obviously from Lizardman. I swear I have the best luck with the weirdest things. Crawling hand. Crawling hand, dude. You know what? I'm putting in my house. I don't even care. And back to the big red dog. Oh, I completely missed that. There's our first Slayer level. 92 out of 99. Halfway there. And there's the entire Cerberus task done, so I guess we're pretty close to 300 dry on any crystal now. I only have Eternals, and the only one I really want is Prims, so... I mean, the nice thing about doing 99 Slayer now is that I'm not really in a rush for any of the crystals, because I'll just... I'll probably kill like 3,000 Cerberus if I have to. I, I don't mean that, please. Okay, I have no idea why I didn't intro this, but I'm going for a third Zenite right now. I've done about 80 Demonic so far on this task, and... If we do end up getting a third Zenite, I'm gonna go for a Torture, because it would really help out with the entire Slayer grind, and then, when I get the Occult, I'll pretty much have every Best in Slot amulet for each combat style, so... That'll be really nice just for raids and in general. I don't really need a Fury if I have a Torture, uh, because I have Anguish and Occult. So yeah, I'll just keep doing Gorilla Tasks whenever I get them, and hopefully we eventually get a Zenite. So I've been doing a few Zami trips, and I've heard a lot about the new Prey Mage and Tank method, so... I think this is going to be my last trip with the whole Prey Melee setup. I have I just saw an Iron Man do like a 4 kill trip with worse stats than me. Obviously I have less inventory space, but that still means I should improve my kills per hour, so... This is going to be the last trip like this, and I guess... I also don't have Arclight right now, so I'll probably just finish this task at Greater Demons. Yeah, so next time I get a task, I'll be completely ready. Also, really awesome side benefit. I can actually free up a space now. This is the only boss that I need the Carol Skirt for, so if I go with melee tank gear instead, I can just alk the Carol Skirt, so I get a free spot in the looting bag. Space is invaluable, man. That's that's some very valuable stuff, so... Oh, it's perfect. My whip look is so terrible. Like, I've had maybe four in 4,000 kills or something, so... That's that's really nice to see. Of course, as soon as I say my whip luck is terrible... I guess it would be nice to keep a whip for a Kraken tentacle, but it's just... I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of having to constantly get whips to hold up the Kraken tentacle, so that's... Uh, Eh. And there's 500 kills at your favorite red dog. Still no drop since like 180 KC. I really hope we can get something soon. Oh my god. You know what? At least it's a drop. I I'll take it. At this point, you know, it's whatever. At least it's a drop. I haven't seen anything in 320 kills, so... There's the third crystal. Big surprise, it's the only one we have. At least it's worth quite a bit. I mean, like, that's, that's a whole bond, so... We'll drop this over to the main. It's an extra 14 days of membership. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm unsure how, how to feel about that. I'll tell you in a second. I'm going to finish up this serve trip and then just 
kind of talk about my thoughts on this. So I think I'm gonna throw it in the bag for now. Since I just alked the Carol skirt, I now have two spaces in the bag, so I'll just drop it in. The reason why I'm kind of undecided about the Pagasians is I like the idea of having storable dehyde boots. They don't take up any space, and if I got Pagasians, I'd have to spend like potentially hundreds of hours on Rangers, and then they'd take up a space, so. I don't know, it's just kind of a tough decision. Um, I will keep them for now though. We'll, we'll decide some other time. I also do a lot of random medium clues, so there's a chance I could just get rangers without really grinding for them. You guys see that? That's a six with two zeros behind it, pretty nice. The day has arrived. The, the biggest meme on my channel by far is this damn hammer. So if some of you might not know about it, let's just take a moment to explain. So as you can see, we've killed 18,177 lizard men on the counter. I actually have a total kill count of about 19,300 when the counter froze for a couple days. I know that might sound a bit fishy or whatever, I'm just gonna roll the footage because it did actually happen. I had to manually keep track of my kills for about four days, so let's roll that clip from like August or something. If you see my KC right now, it's 17,424, but that's exactly what it was 300 kills ago. I'm gonna have to do a quick kill to show you that I'm not like going insane, so I'll be right back. Okay, you clearly just saw me kill it. So yeah, I was stuck at 17424 for about four days. Alright, we got this elite clue from Shamans. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, why not? Ooh, my black mask luck is so good. I mean, they're pretty useless, but still, it's nice to see. At least my main gets some cash, which, by the way, I think at some point I'd like to do a showcase of all the stuff that I've dropped over to my main. I think that would be really interesting to see. So, I don't know. If you want to see that, it would probably be towards the end of the series, like, probably when I'm really close to max, or maybe even after. Perfect! Third Ancient Shard, there we go. Next time we get a Greater Demon's Task, we are good to go. Woohoohoo! <laughs> that is really good. Um, these tasks are incredibly rare. You best believe I'm killing 35. Obviously, I don't have a Warhammer to use, but with the Slayer Helm boost, we should be able to kind of make up for that. I pretty much need, like, everything from Bandos, or I would like everything from Bandos. Tassies, I would replace my Varrock Skirt with. BCP is really good in Inferno as a, uh, as a tank body. Uh, Hilt is good for Corp and, like, a bunch of other things. Okay, hopefully this boost holds. I'm currently building empty Master Stashes. I'll probably just put them on screen. Uh, I want to clear up as much space as possible for Bandos. And I definitely don't want to drop my arc light, so we have to build some stashes. Uh, to actually store arc light, I also need an amulet of the dam, so gotta do that little shades mini game. All right, dragon impling. Wow, that is good. 4K each. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm just saving these for some high point raids, I guess. Oh, first chest back. There we go. Amulet of the damned. Took about eight keys. Not too bad. I think that's actually on drop rate, so. Let's go store arc light. Really cool stash, because every time I want to do Scotizo or Zami, I can just, you know, grab this out of here, so. Really nice stash. Alright, so I just did my first Bandos kill. I guess my second, because I did the first kill for the diary, but. Uh, I'm really excited. I hope I can get a couple of these while doing 99 Slayer. I know the tasks are really rare, but. Until I get a hammer, I'm not going to be grinding out Bandos. So, this is pretty much the only way I can do it. Uh, I think the next time I get a task, I'm going to learn how to flick on my main, just because it's. It's kind of the most efficient way to do it on an ultimate when you're really limited on inventory space, so I'll probably learn to do it on my main first. Hard clue from a minion, very interesting. What a surprise, it's in the wilderness. Alright, that's the end of the task. Unfortunately this kill was tagged so I didn't get anything, uh, but I'll probably learn to flick for next time, and I really enjoyed doing this, honestly. Bantos is fun. Um, I guess I'll probably change my mind about that when I'm like 500 KC or something. 171 big red dogs. Could this be the task? That is the question. Got an elite clue on 688. Hopefully we can do this one. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. More wilderness clues. Alright, well, there's 700 KC. And another task with absolutely nothing from service. I would have even taken a fourth eternal, man. Just to spice things up a bit, you know? This is it. This is the task. I can feel it. All right, got a hard clue right here. Let's see what we get. Interesting. That's that's actually pretty interesting. I love the enchanted robes. Though. That's my first piece in all these clues. Fashionscape wise, I think the enchanted robes are the best looking robes in the game. Uh, but unfortunately, if it prohibits functionality, like I don't know, I can't have that taking up a space. Right, so I'm gonna be freeing up another space. I'm actually gonna alk the Zami Dehyde top. Uh, reason being, there's only one place I need it, and that's Ceridoman. Uh But instead, I'm just gonna have a Zami Hosta as my item. I might as well just use a Carol's top there, so. 
Uh, yeah, there's another free space. Another thing I thought to get rid of was the Aram's top, but I'm not completely sure about that yet. Uh, the only place I'd really use that is Raids or Zolra, but the thing is, it's only better than Void if you have a Tormented Bracelet, so i just use Void at both Raids and Zolra. So yeah, I might be getting rid of the Aram's top, I'm not completely sure about that yet. If you have any insight, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments, I will take criticism. And 800 Cerberus. We have 137 left, so we'll be getting to 937 KC. Hopefully we get something by then. No! With five kills left on the task. I think that was like a 370 dry streak. Well, I mean, I guess it's nice to see an item. Definitely the most useless item, though. I guess that's where we'll cut it. Uh, tune in next time to see if I ever get a single one of the items I'm going for. Uh, thank you for watching. One like equals one gram of protein. I have no clue where I was going with that. I'm sorry.